Good morning, good morning, good morning, my people of Jamaica. Good morning, people throughout the world. How are you all doing? I greet you all this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Yes, my people. So I'm here again with the second part of my video to my Prime Minister of Jamaica, Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Greet you, sir, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. So my people and to my Prime Minister, I just want to say to you, sir, I am not here to beat you up, but I am only here to encourage you with the encouragement of the word of God with love. Because there's time in our life that we need someone to encourage us to encourage us with the decision that we are making, also to encourage us with the steps that we are taking. So I just want to say to you, my dear Prime Minister, sir, you know that as you planned to bring the, the digital system into our country, Jamaica, that beautiful island that we love so much, Mr. Andrew Holness, sir, I want you to take a look back and see where the country will be and where the country is at the moment. Because, sir, I went to Jamaica the other day and a hundred pound is like five pound. No, I'm living in England and it's very hard over here now, sir. A hundred pound, you can buy ghostry, but not like even five years ago. I will just say not even like two years ago. That is how a hundred pound is in England at this moment. And I went to Jamaica and I changed out a hundred pound and it's like just a thousand dollar. I take my grandchildren to go and treat them just to parties and KFC and a hundred pound cannot buy them what they want, sir. Now, I just want to ask you a question, sir. And my people, I want you to listen to the question that I'm asking my dear Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holness, sir. Mr. Andrew Holness, if you bring the country into a digital country, remember all these mothers and remember all these fathers and young men and young women, old men, old man, yes, that they don't have an income. They rely on only hand to mouth. Some of them just rely on little hustling like going to the market buy bag juice and sell buy biscuit and cheese chip and sell sell a few donuts sell little things on the street side that they buy from the market just to sell back like mangoes orange banana yes just to make a uh, ends meet for their families so now sir i want to say something you know many people in jamaica like many mothers, I'm going to talk about the mothers right now because the mothers is the one that always worrying more than the fathers. Yes, some fathers worry, but some worry more than some. But the mothers, they're always worrying about the children's well-being. No, sir. A lot of mothers, they can't even find lunch money for their children. And a lot of parents, they're depending on friends to help them out through the week or through the month when that pay that they work or when they the income that they have coming in that little salary is finished they're depending on their neighbors or a friend to help them 
In England, they would say, top them up until they get pay again. Or until Monday again when they go back in the market or go back in the wholesale to buy something and sell. To lend them something. A £5,000 or dollars a $2,000. Yes, a $1,000. To send these little boys and girls to school. And when they give the children them a thousand dollar. Mr. Andrew Holness sir. That can't even buy lunch. Because one party is like six hundred dollar. And how much is a bag juice sir. And sometimes that's the cheapest the parents them can go. No Mr. Andrew Holness. When you bring digital currency in this country of Jamaica how these people my people and your people gonna manage sir no I didn't even know that they still selling quarter of bread big jilla aisle quarter of butter half stick of butter in a Jamaica Mr. Andrew Holness Jamaica no reach nowhere yet sir for digital sir i am begging you in the name of jesus don't bring this to the table of jamaica as yet as i said to you ask the lord for direction and this message sir is not my message but it's coming from the throne of god because god could not come down and tell you of himself because don't forget God is a spirit but God will always rise up about peace to speak on his people behalf sir well I am one of the mouthpiece for the people of Jamaica and God mouthpiece to speak unto you for the people of the Jamaica Mr. Andrew Holness sir think carefully and what you are doing. Mr. Andrew Holis, I came to Jamaica and I'm telling you, Jamaica don't reach nowhere yet for digital currency. Jamaica don't even quarter for that type of lifestyle, Mr. Andrew Holis. Don't let the enemy brainwash you, sir. Because the blood of the people, it's going to be on your hand. Now look and see these young boys. Mr. Andrew Holness, you need to do something. Different. Think about something different. How you're going to help the country. And how you're going to help these young people. That soon be graduating from school. Maybe a year, two year. Five year down the line. Because, sir, why I'm saying you, you are the one who have that authority over the country at this moment. Yes, not America, not England, not Canada, but you, sir. Unless you say yes to these people or to whatever the enemy is setting up for you with your people of your country. Unless you say yes, it cannot happen. But I want to tell you, Mr. Andrew Holness, God is not pleased with what you are doing. Last night I was in my bed and it was just Jamaica the Lord bringing to me. And I'm saying to you that Jamaica is in a serious situation. Mr. Andrew Holness, think twice, sir. Listen to the heart of the people. Listen to the cry of the people. And listen to Almighty God through me or through somebody else. As I said to you in the first video, sir, go and seek the face of God and ask him for direction. Now, sir, I am praying for you and I am praying for my brothers and sisters of Jamaica. And I am praying that the Lord will open your eyes. To the things that you should see. And I pray that the Lord will close your eyes. From the thing that you should not see. 
Don't be distracted, Mr. Andrew Holness, sir. Don't be distracted by the enemy. Don't be distracted by the force of darkness. But listen to God. Listen to the voice of God speaking to you. Jamaica, the land that we love. Jamaica, the land that have a covenant with God. Mr. Andrew Holness, this is a message for you. People of Jamaica, people of the whole world, share this video so it reach the Prime Minister ears. This is part two of the message. And as time goes on and the Lord speak to me, I will come with the word that the Lord give to me for the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Have a blessed day, my people. God bless you. Share this video and listen to what the Lord have to say. Jamaica is the land that Jesus Christ loves. And he's going to do a new thing, sir. But you have to open your eyes and listen to the voice of God that speak to you. Happy Sabbath, everyone. God bless you. Happy Sabbath.